Hello friends, this is the problem number one. How to correct a any error in the index match functions. Uh, this topic explains the common scenarios where you encounter the any error when using index and match functions together in a formula. One of the common reasons to use the index and match combination is when you want to look up a value in a scenario where the VLOOKUP wouldn't work for you. Like if your lookup value is over 255 characters. The problem is the formula has not been entered as an array. If you are using the index as an array formula along with match in order to be able to retrieve a value, you will need to convert your formula into an array formula. Otherwise, you will see a an error. As an example, we have this table where we have the item codes, items, and the quantity. So if you see, we have three item codes associated with that three items and associate with that the three quantities. What we are trying to achieve here is with respect to the item code VC2341, we try to identify what is the item value and what is the quantity value. So if you see the value in the cell G7 shows any for the items, but the results in the G9 shows uh, the quantity, sorry, the G8 shows the quantity 324, which is the correct value for the item code VC2341, the quantity 3. Why 324? Why we are seeing the NA for the item value. The reason behind that, if you see the formula uh, uh, which is written in the cell C G7 is the combination of index and match. So what we are doing is we are finding index the C7 to C9. So if you see this is the C7 to C9, what we need to match is we need to match the value between this range the B7 to B9 equivalent to what is the value we have in the G6. And as we are passing the 0, that means we need to do the exact match. So they are matching this value with this one and then trying to find out, OK, what is the corresponding value for the items? So as you can see here, the formula is correct. But then also, if you see the result, we are seeing any. And if you see the formula in the cell G8, it's it's doing the exact same for the D7 to D9, which is the D7 to D9. This value we are trying to match the B7 to B9, this corresponding to what is the value here. So value VC2341, this one try to match between these and then find out okay 234 is the answer so it's providing us the exact uh, value there so why we are getting the proper result here not here the reason is very simple the formula has not been entered as an array so if you see the formula in the cell g8 we have these two curly braces in the front and the very back that change this formula into the format of an array. So if you go back to G7, we don't see anything. So how to add those? You go to the formula on your keyboard, enter Control Shift and hit Enter. And if you see these curly presses added in the front and the very back. And if you see the result in the cell G7 now shows basket, which is is the correct value for the item code VC2341. The item correspond value is the basket. And that results is the correct one now. Hope that solves your issue and thank you.